What's up, my dudes? We out here on that new Daytona. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
I mean, it's unbelievable how much more skill gap this track is than any of their other Supercross tracks they've come out with so far this year. It's unbelievable. Look at this. Four rut lines in the corners. So even if you have a road turned on or off, it's still going to be fun. It's going to be fun in single player. You're going to have way more different line options in the corners in the pro race with the road turned on. You know, I've been watching some of those uh, recent... Went back and looked at some of those recent uh, Pro 450 main event gameplay for this game on like Arlington and, and some of their previous races. And good God Almighty, the A Road looked so fucking one lined on those tracks. It was unbelievable. When I say one lined, those tracks are literally, and I'm talking at the end of the main event. It's one giant eroded berm, not even really a rut in every single corner, just like it did five years ago. It's still doing that. It's not really making ruts on the jump faces. It's not really wearing down the whoop sections. It's not really doing any of that shit. It's just making one giant singular berm in every you know, rolled off um, Supercross berm, you know, that they have on their other Supercross tracks. It's just unbelievable to me. It's like, oh, RFO, okay, we can have pre-made ruts on our Daytona, but we can't have any pre-made at all on the other Supercross tracks? Like, make it make sense, bro. You can't. Right? That's what I'm saying about this right here. This is more like your 2017 style of a track in the game. It's not like super, super basic ground decal. It's not super basic, smoothed off, rolled off everywhere. You got inside ruts, you got pre-made, you got character, you got variation to even like, even if you just come over here to this right before this, this uh, super cross tri triple right here, Look at that little bit of character right there. Just a little bit of almost like a little bit of roughness, but not quite. And it makes it to where you can actually jump all the way instead of landing right down the face of this. You can jump and almost get your bike landed right in here in a really good little pocket right before you hit this uh, super cross triple. And there's a little bit of pre-made roughness going into this corner. You can just barely see it. That shit's so much more fun than everything being perfectly smooth. Like all of their other Supercross tracks they're making. This is so much more fun because of pre-made like I've been trying to tell you boys this entire time. But it's crazy how much when you compare this back to like a 2017 track, this is not really all that much different. Like, when you really think about it, the skill gap's not that much different than this right here in a 2017 track. The, the pre-made rut design feel is not that much different from this in a 2017 track. The berm size, the dirt color, the dirt decal, the everything is so much more similar to a 2017 track than their other standard in-stadium Supercross tracks. You know, there are other tracks that are not Daytona, the other 90%, 99% of the tracks that they have, right? Those are not like a 2017 track because they don't have pre-made ruts. They don't have different line options. The road just creates one massive giant berm in the corner on all those other Supercross tracks that you have to race on. There's no pre-made ruts, no pre-made of any kind, not as much skill gap, not as much realistic dirt color and dirt decal. I mean, what? Like, really, RF? You're obviously capable of this. You obviously came in here and made this. So why does all of your other Supercross tracks just not even come close to this? It's crazy, bro. But I hope this, this gives you guys a good example of how fun a track can be again when you start to add back pre-made ruts. See, they used to have like two or three inside pre-made ruts on some of the corners, even on the standard in-stadium Supercross tracks, all the way back in 2017, okay? So they used to do that. That's what I'm trying to say. They used to do that even on the standard Supercross tracks back in those days, not just on Daytona only, right? So nonetheless, dude, I mean, I could run unlimited amount of laps on this track. This first section right here is really fun. You got to be patient. You got to time it. 
quite a bit of skill gap in that right there. A lot of these sections, they're just, just elongated enough to where it, you can get the 450 just fast enough to where it starts to make it challenging and tricky to still get on your brakes in the corner. It's got that perfect like distance of the lanes where it really creates that that high speed skill gap feeling to it, especially when you get a little bit of that pre-made roughness, pre-made mogul section. Uh, dude, it just, it makes the whole game. This is the way MX Simulator is supposed to play. Not like those other super sand, high friction bullshit, no pre-made, super easy, rolled off everything, easy, rolled off whoops and jumps and humps and there is no bumps. And you see what I'm saying? This is more like what MX Simulator was made for right here. Instead of that one line bullshit that you boys are racing on, that super small you know, everything, uh, super smoothed off everything, and then the, then the road just goes in there and makes one giant berm in every corner. I do not know how some of you boys are still, can even participate in that type of bullshit, because that's not really, dude, that's just not where it's at, Doug. I'm telling you right now, this is where it's at right here. And I mean... It's just unbelievable how much more fun you can have in single player with no erode turned on at all. You're going to be able to come back to this track years down the road and still go have fun on it, still go back and play it. It's skill gapped, it's fun factor, it's separating, it's everything you look for in a track. This has all of it. It's got pre-made, it's got roughness, you can have fun with the road, without a road, single player, two or three of your buddies, 40 dudes on a gate. Like, why the fuck are you not doing more of this on your normal Supercross tracks? I, I will never understand that. Why is your normal Supercross tracks not built more like this? It's just like, you're obviously capable of it, man. Just do it. Just do it and go in there and make multiple different versions. Change up those rut lines where it's not so, you know, not so laser lined for the pro racers. Ah, man, I've, I've about given up all hope on this shit because I've been saying it for so long, but RF doesn't really seem to care. Um, they've spoken about multiple times before. They've said publicly, if it wasn't for a road, they wouldn't even be doing RF anymore. If it wasn't for them testing the Erode beta, they wouldn't even be doing RF anymore. They've, they've came out and said this publicly multiple times before. So, yeah. The MX Simulator's overall best interest at heart is not really what RF has in mind. They just want to test a road. They just want to go in there and fuck around with testing a road and see if they can get a road to work in the game better. That's all they're thinking about. They're not thinking about actually making this shit just better overall. As you can see with all of the other tracks they've came out with this year so far, absolutely zero pre-made of any kind. Zero. The same dirt color on every one of their other tracks that they've came out with so far. All of them look identical as far as the dirt color. No matter if you're going from an Anaheim to an Oakland to a San Diego to an Arlington, they all look the exact same. This one is the first one that's actually different and actually has pre-made ruts and actually feels good and is actually fun and skill-gapped and multiple line options. <laughs> yeah. I was pretty blown away at how one line the road still is to this day. On the normal Supercross tracks of the 2022 series, bro, it's unbelievable, boy. But thank God I'm not still racing, because, oh my God, that shit would have been just so boring and annoying and repetitive and not realistic and feeling like I'm just hitting one big old berm, rutted up, eroded berm in every corner. I'm just so tired of that at this point. I'm tired of riding on it. I'm tired of racing on it. And I go back and look at the most recent 450 Pro race on Arlington and Minneapolis, and the shit looks the exact same as it did four or five years ago. So, yes, I have no intention on racing on that. <laughs> so, nonetheless, this track right here, it was a lot of fun. I plan on running a lot more laps on it, having some more fun on it, but 
Sucks that we can't have this on all of the tracks, but, you know, here it is nonetheless. So, yeah, man, either way. Appreciate you guys watching all the videos. See you boys on that next one. Later, dudes.